In the space of a week, we've had a couple of very bad accidents on our roads involving cyclists. Every one of our big cities has more and more cyclists on the roads interacting with, with cars and trucks and buses, and something needs to be done. The, the, the big question is, are there some roads in Sydney that we need to basically put a blanket ban on cyclists? And also, we had the, the roads minister, Duncan Gay, on this morning, and he said he's seriously looking at a plan to licence cyclists. Now... I don't know about you and how that would come into effect, but it's about time they started paying their way, isn't it? Well, if you have some sort of licensing system, the truth is that there's a big cost involved, and whenever they've done an examination of it, you've got to set some some sort of a database, you've got to accommodate cyclists who uh, are not actually um, holders of driver's licence. You've then got to look at where you begin it. Do you have 15-year-olds should be able to ride bikes? So 15, 14-year-olds, So do they have, a, do they have a number plate or a licence well, plate on the back of the bike? Well, I think what you do is, and I've, because a lot of people ride different bikes, they ride their mate's bikes, so you've, you'd have to have the registration, if you're going to have a number, actually on the person. So you register the cyclist. What? So when, when, you get on a, when you get on a bike, well, think about it. Where are you going to have the idea? Well, but like a football jumper with a number on the back. Yes, exactly. Well, I, well, here's the point. What about number 4,557? Yeah, well, the idea is, as you are... Well, have you heard of number plates on cars? They're, they're, that, they're about yeah. that wide. Yeah, they're, they're. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to register cyclists, you've got to be able to pick up the, the who, who it is that's run the red light, who it is that's run through the pedestrian crossing. If you have a tiny little plate at the bottom of the bike, that's less likely to be picked up than a fluoro vest, which would then have the number on the back of the person. They'd be wearing a fluoro vest, so it would be compulsory to wear it, which would mean they'd be more visible. Their number would be there, which means when you come up to a red light, if you go through that red light, someone's going to take down your number. You're going to, it, it, there's a whole lot of reasons why it would work. That's the way we should be going. It's like something from the 1970s. No, it's not. We're it's living in the 21st century. Why can't you just put a data chip on each bike? And then you can record it, and you know exactly where it is. Yeah, okay, so... Is so, it that hard? I mean, a company like IBM could deliver that for you, couldn't okay, they? Okay, so, so my idea is to have the fluoro vests. You want to have the data chips on the bikes, and then the technology to pick up the data chips all over the place. But the technology already exists. Much more expensive. Much it, more expensive. Technology's okay. already there, John. Okay, so you want to have data chips on every bike. And an app that you can record. You could actually record where every bike in the city is at any one time. It's a fabulous idea. So, in other words, with Thank my... You. Thank with, you. Yeah, Let's just end no, it there. No, I'm saying it's a fabulous idea because with my idea, if someone rides past without their fluoro vest on, you immediately know that they're not wearing their, their vest and that's illegal. With yours, they ride past with a bike that doesn't have a chip on it. How would you know? Unless, you know, how, how would a policeman know? Every policeman's going to have a little thing. It's ridiculous. It's easy. It's simple. No, it's anyway. not. Mine is a simple way of doing it. But the other one is... These very busy roads where you've got clearways and buses, and I ride a bike. I actually think we need a lot more bike lanes. I'd never dream of riding at peak hour in that left-hand lane, sharing it with buses, coming up on the inside of a bus or a truck that's turning left. There's no way they can see you. You have got the right under our present laws. You've got the right to be on the road. And there's a good argument that riding the bike, you're keeping a car off the road, you're helping traffic congestion. But the truth is... They're not going to be able to see you, so there's no consolation if you actually end up under the truck. We've got to do something about it, and the easier way is put up a sign. You don't ride along this section of road. If you need to keep going, there's a back street you can take. I thought the best point of all was made by one of our callers who said, you know, he doesn't mind cyclists going to and from work. That's great. The big problem is these people who use the city as their playground to get personally fit. The CBD is not a gymnasium. You're not out there on the roads cluttering at the worst possible time in the morning at peak hour just to drive around and show off your physique. Get off the roads. And you loved that email, didn't you? Loved it. He's, not, he's kept the email, he's framed it, and you've promised that when we have the most prominent person who rides around for exercise in the country, the Prime Minister of Australia, Tony Abbott, you're going to present him with that email. Framed. Next time he's here. In the, framed. framed. Framed, exactly. Can't wait.